What's up? This is Josephine Bryant, and welcome to a new video. Um, this time, I am doing this just to scare the heck out of y'all. Uh, it's similar to my last scary video, April Fool's, late April Fool's pranks video, but these are the opposite of pranks. These are no joke videos. So, uh, enough said. Um, let's get right into this. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely something we shouldn't joke about. It is based on a 1986 horror novel by Stephen King about a sadistic clown called Pennywise. Pennywise's daily activities consist of tormenting and scaring a group of seven children. It is a being that exploits the fears and phobias of its victims to disguise about itself while hunting prey. If it this appears was real. in the form of a clown to attract its preferred just... prey of young children. It was created into a miniseries and most recently a film remake. So to celebrate the release of the remake, Life's Biggest Questions asks, the good What thing if is, was real? Welcome back to LBQ. So what I'm if Charlotte Dobrin. Don't forget to like this video and let real. us know in the comments below what scares you the most. Warning, if you haven't seen the film or read the novel, there are some serious it spoilers ahead. When writing the novel, Stephen King circles around themes like the power of memory and childhood trauma and its reoccurring echoes into adulthood. How terrifying would it be if there was a being out there somewhere that took the form of whatever you were scared of most when you were a child. The being could take the shape of pretty much anything the deep recesses of your imagination came up with as a youngster. And when you're a youngster, your imagination is a pretty vivid place. Ghosts, werewolves, lepers, spiders, mummies, snakes, witches, vampires, the possibilities are endless. The thing that's terrifying about it is it's not just about one thing that scares you. It is about everything that scares you. It is a monster of unknown origin that preys on children and humans every three decades. The reason why it likes to scare children is is because, well, scaring the children makes them taste better. It also has the power to control minds and manipulate people into doing its bidding. If there really were a being out there that took the shape of whatever you were scared of most, life wouldn't be very pleasant, would it? If it awakes from its slumber and targets young children, after initial scares and possibly mysterious murders, a state of emergency would be declared. It dwells in the sewer system. Children would be forced to stay home or likely forced to go somewhere away from the sewer systems where it can't get to them. But I mean, where can you go that doesn't have a sewer system? I guess somewhere without a flushable toilet or sink? Perhaps children would be rounded up and sent somewhere remote. That would be a temporary fix, though. If there really was a being out there that was running around murdering people, something would have to be done about it. Not to mention, if it really can control the minds of whoever it wants, somehow it will find a way to get to the children, who are likely all gathered together now. But it is a being that is not human. How do you kill or get rid of something that isn't human? To answer that, we would have to examine the story of it. So how did the characters in the story finally take him down? Build a discovers the ritual of the Chud, an ancient ritual that allows him to enter the macroverse to confront it. Bill enters its mind and discovers its true form is a mass of destructive orange lights. Bill is able to defeat it and send it back to its slumber. The losers then swear to return if it ever does. It resurfaces once again in 1984 and the losers try to kill it once and for all. In order to destroy it, we would have to set a trap by manifesting our darkest fears so it would appear before us. The characters do this in the story and get it to take it back to its lair. Once the characters are in its lair, Bill fights his way into its body, which has now taken the form of a spider. He locates its heart and destroys it. The moral of the story? We have to confront our darkest fears in order to conquer them. What do you think the world would be like if it was real? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more answers. <laughs> Just when you thought we couldn't get more mileage out of human suffering, we're back with yet another episode proving that existence is pain. We've covered the most painful cancers, stings, and medical conditions that leave people in horrible agony. And we've got more to add to our list of most painful things a human can experience. Warning, our final entry includes very graphic imagery. Frozen shoulder. Everyone's likely gotten the cold shoulder at least once in their life, but frozen shoulder will cause you more than some low-level social pain. Common amongst people who are recovering from medical conditions or procedures that restrict arm movement, frozen shoulder begins slowly and then quickly ramps up to full-blown agony which can last for years. Your shoulder and all its associated ligaments, tendons, and bones are all wrapped up in a gift wrapping of connective tissue. When you don't use your arm for long stretches of time though, that tissue can begin to thicken, slowly but steadily reducing the range of motion of your arm. 
If unchecked, frozen shoulder will eventually all but immobilize you, and trying to move your arm will result in great amounts of pain as you fight against the tissue that's keeping your various bits and pieces tightly restrained. Docs aren't sure why frozen shoulder develops exactly, but it's known to strike those with diabetes or who have their limbs immobilized for long periods of time. The bad news about frozen shoulder is that the treatment is even more agonizing than the condition, as the only way to cure it is to routinely exercise your arm with stretches and exercises meant to restore mobility. You're literally having to stretch your overly tightened tissues into normal mobility, causing severe agony. The next item on our list is a killer that can strike almost anyone at any time. Heart attack. If you've ever been wealthy enough to go to the emergency room to seek treatment, then you've likely been asked if you're experiencing any chest pains. And that's because doctors are on the lookout for a heart attack, one of the most painful things you can experience. Caused by a blockage of blood flow, a heart attack is the heart literally fighting for its life. Blockages are most common amongst individuals who are overweight and are caused by things such as fat and cholesterol. As blood flow becomes restricted, the heart muscles are weakened, and some of them might even be killed outright. In that case, you're in very serious trouble. Heart attacks usually begin with extreme pain in the chest, which can either come after a buildup of pressure and discomfort or strike completely out of nowhere. The good news is that the pain only lasts a few minutes because you'll be dead shortly after without immediate medical attention. If you ever experience sudden tightness or discomfort, let alone full-blown pain in your chest, call an emergency room right away and try not to have a second heart attack when you realize how deep in debt you'll soon be. Our next painful condition is hereditary, and if you don't suffer from it personally, there's a chance you could be passing on the misery to your kids. Sickle cell disease. We might as well stick to the theme of your body turning against you. Sickle cell disease is a blood disorder that's inherited through your parents' genes and results in red blood cells being grossly deformed. Instead of the nice round shapes you'd expect red blood cells to be, sickle cells are so named because the red blood cells become hard and form into a sickle shape. This makes it extremely difficult for the body to get the oxygen it desperately needs as the sickle cells are unable to transport oxygen efficiently. Other than constant exhaustion, the pain comes when the sickle cells die off in mass and form blockages in your arteries. Sickle cells are like James Dean. They live very fast and die extremely young. This can cause blockages that interrupt blood flow leading to some serious internal pain that narcotics aren't gonna do much to help you manage. Eventually, the blockage can lead to stroke and death making sickle cell a deadly and painful disorder to have. Sickle cell disease is most common amongst people with ancestors from sub-Saharan Africa, making it endemic to the black community, though the cause is poorly understood. Our next painful experience is something everyone will experience, if you live long enough, arthritis. Frozen shoulder sounds pretty terrible and painful, but what if all your joints were being attacked at once? Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease where the body begins to friendly fire all over the place and attack the body's joints. First, the immune system attacks the membrane that encloses all the joint's moving parts, causing it to become inflamed and swollen. Over time, the immune system eats through the membrane to attack the cartilage and bone inside the actual joint itself. Without that protective layer of cartilage in the joint, your bones rub together as you move, leading to some pretty terrible pain. Regular arthritis sets in with age. Though family history, exercise, and weight can all have negative impacts on your odds to get arthritis, exercising regularly and keeping your weight in check can help limit the effects of arthritis, with extra pounds putting even more pressure on your joints and more quickly eroding the cartilage within. Currently, there's no cure for arthritis, and the best medicine can do is help lessen the pain and improve the quality of life. The next most painful thing you can experience is all too common and can strike anyone at any time. Sciatica. The good news about sciatica is that it typically goes away over time. The bad news is it can be so painful it's completely debilitating. The sciatica nerve travels along your spine, then branches out from your lower back to travel down each leg. It's one of the main nerves in the human body, which means that when something goes wrong with it, you can be sure it's gonna let you know with as much pain as it can produce, which is a lot. Typically, sciatica is caused by damage to the spine, such as herniated discs or a bone spur, or by narrowing of the spine. This causes the sciatic nerve to become compressed, and if there's one thing nerves don't like, it's to be messed with. It's kind of their whole job to let you know when that happens. But what can you do when the thing bothering your nerve is your own body? Well, not a whole lot in most cases. Only if the pain is extremely severe will doctors consider surgery to try and relieve the pressure on the nerve. For the rest of you, you'll have weeks of debilitating pain to look forward to as your body naturally heals. Just try not to sneeze if you develop sciatica, 
as we have it on good authority that a sudden violent sneeze will quickly send you into Hellraiser level depths of agony. Our next condition can strike anyone at any time, but unlike sciatica, it can be absolutely deadly. Appendicitis. Mother Nature wants to remind you that she hates you, and that's why she's putting a ticking time bomb in your body. The appendix, an organ whose purpose is still unclear, and some doctors suspect is an evolutionary leftover. I is had lots my and lots appendix of removed. Most of that bacteria <sighs> we know are there to aid Thank digestion. Goodness. And a new theory states is that the appendix is meant to be a home of sort for these bacteria, a place where they can hang their hat after a tough 12-hour shift in your colon helping digest and process your food. Sure, an appendix may not be an impressive place to live, but don't judge these bacteria too quickly. Their job is pretty crappy after all. Problems occur when bacteria multiply out of control, leading to a blockage and an infection. The appendix quickly becomes inflamed and swells up as it fills with pus. If you don't get treatment right away, the appendix will burst, spreading the infection throughout your body and potentially killing you. Treatments are highly effective, as in most cases, doctors simply have to remove the appendix before it bursts. If you begin to have pain that starts at your navel and then moves around the abdominal area, you should definitely see a doctor right away. On par with a kidney stone, appendicitis is completely debilitating and can feel like a horse kicking you repeatedly and nonstop in the side. Famously, a Soviet surgeon on a trip to Antarctica had to perform a self-appendectomy to save his own life using only mirrors so he could see what he was doing and absolutely zero painkillers. Appendicitis is easily resolved if caught early. Though if the appendix does burst, treatment will include removal of the appendix and power washing of your intestines so you don't end up dying to the secondary infection, which we can imagine is also rather unpleasant. Our next most painful thing you can experience is as savage as it is deadly. Warning, very graphic imagery ahead. Chimpanzee attack. We've covered plenty of ways your body can betray you in this episode, but we thought we'd end with one of the most painful things you can experience that doesn't come from within. Chimps. They're adorable. They're like small humans. Who doesn't love to see a chimp dressed up in a business suit with a fake cigar, pretending to be a real person? Well, it turns out that chimps don't always love to play make-believe, and sometimes we forget that chimps are wild animals who are several times stronger than the average human. Chimpanzee attacks are brutal, and it's our official stance on the infographic show that chimps, along with jellyfish, are the biggest a-holes in the animal kingdom. Hear us out. While much stronger than a human, a chimpanzee could easily kill a person, but evolution has given them an entirely different battle strategy. Instead of killing, in the wild, the chimpanzees often try to disfigure and dismember rivals. And because evolution is all about reproduction, one of the first targets chimps go for is the groin. In 2005, a couple was visiting their pet chimpanzee they had to house at the Animal Haven Ranch in Caliente, California, after the chimp bit off part of a woman's finger. Already a red flag if we've ever seen one. While at the sanctuary, four other chimps escaped their cages, and two male chimps charged at the couple. The woman lost her thumb, but her husband bravely managed to hold the chimp's attention so she could find safety, though paid for it dearly. He ended up having his genitals mutilated. He had a foot torn off. He had severe damage to his face, resulting in the loss of one eye, most of one cheek, and part of his nose, as well as having part of his buttocks bitten and ripped off by the attacking chimps. In 2009, a woman was attacked by her friend's pet chimp. The chimp tore off both of her hands and completely mauled her face. The chimp attacked responding police officers, cornering one cop in his car as he opened fire point-blank, killing the crazed animal. It's not just domestic chimps that have attacked people, however. In Uganda, chimpanzees suffering from habitat loss due to farming have begun fighting back in completely horrendous ways. In 2014, a chimpanzee snatched a toddler from its mother, broke off its arm, and mauled the child so badly he died on the way to the hospital. As chimps are finding it more and more difficult to find food in the wild, they've resorted to raiding farms and villages, with disastrous consequences for the Ugandans who live there. Much like in the wild, the chimps seem to be attacking infants with infanticide, being an evolutionary survival technique ingrained into the chimps. If you deny your rivals their children, after all, there will be no future competition for resources. Having our most sensitive body parts ripped apart by pure ape fury sounds like one of the worst things a human can experience to us. Now go check out most painful things a human can experience, or click this other video. Well, hello. My name is Travis Peter, 
and this might be my last video. I recently came across this these one. accounts of he, this he video straight where commits apparently, suicide. like, if you no, watch no it, joke. you die. Well, after a little bit of digging, I did actually find someone who was willing to give me a copy of this video, so I hope you're ready for the React video to end all React videos, because this will literally be the end of any React videos I do, because apparently this video is gonna kill me. Okay, so I haven't watched this yet. It's just a video file that was sent over to me, so you're getting my first reaction. It's broken. What the heck? Come on. Scare me. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. This is actually kind of spooky. It's also not widescreen. It's 4 by 3 That's probably the scariest thing I've seen so far. <laughs> Scary old lady brushing her hair. Oh. Girl, you should not be smiling like that if that's your daughter. That is a spooky little girl. Oh no, somebody dropped their box full of fingers. She saw me, she knows I'm watching that video. Okay, we get it, you went to film school. See you later, bye. <laughs> oh no. Now how's he gonna get off the roof? Well, that was short. Two thumbs down. That was boring. <laughs> so there it was. That was the death video. So let me know down in the... Unknown number. Hello? Seven days until what? Hello? Hello? Rude. So, let me know down in the comments. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, the tape did kill him. Look at him, he's a corpse. No, this is just what I look like in the morning. The reason I'm recording is because something weird did actually happen. I woke up this morning to find this puddle of dirty water. But the weirdest thing about it, there's these really long hairs in it. And I don't know if you know this, but I live alone. So I don't have a roommate. Nobody lives here that has long, dark hair. So tonight I filmed a Q&A for my YouTube channel. I went to upload it just to double check the footage, make sure I remembered to record sound and everything like that. And I don't know if you can tell, that's not an effect of my camera. That, my entire face is blurred out through the whole thing. I spent a couple hours Googling this, trying to figure out if anyone else has had this problem with my camera, with the editing software, anything like that, and I got nothing. But I did happen to find something from someone who had also watched the death tape, and it not only happened to them in videos, but pictures and everything. And so I decided to test that theory, and look at this. Every single picture, I couldn't get a picture of my face that was like in focus. From what I hear, it just happens periodically, and from what I can tell now, from what I'm currently filming, my face looks fine. Why did I watch that damn video? Okay, so after the freaky shit that happened yesterday, I figured I'd do a little bit more research into this whole death tape thing. The rumor is that it takes seven days to die, so you die exactly seven days after you watch it, which would explain why I'm still alive. But the other thing is that they say before you die, you see the ring. All day, I've been like drawing rings. Anytime I had a pen in my hand, I was like drawing rings and it just didn't stop. And I don't even really remember doing it. I don't remember consciously making the decision. I mean, look at this. Look at, these are just the ones I have at home. And I have like 16 more at work. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is it all a coincidence? Probably, I'm probably just freaking myself out. I'm just gonna keep telling myself that that's what's happening. I'm freaking myself out. Travis, you're freaking yourself out. So I'm currently sitting in the parking lot of Target right now, and while I was in there, I saw like this little girl, except like her dress was really dirty, and I couldn't really see her face because like her 
hair was like really messy. She had this long dark hair and it was like covering her face and she wasn't with anyone. She, I assumed she was lost or something. It kind of freaked me out. So I went to get somebody who worked there, but by the time I got back, she was gone. It was so fucking weird. It was creepy. It just gave me like cold chills. And I don't honestly, <coughs> So I haven't been sleeping very much the last few days. Obviously, lots of weird stuff has been going on. And then the other night, I woke up and I thought I saw someone standing there, like in the shadows. And so I decided to film myself sleeping last night just to see if I could see anything weird going on. I'm just gonna let you see it. It was around three in the morning. Um, nothing else weird happened last night, but. What was that? So, I was just sitting here watching my shows on the television, you know, catching up on my fall entertainment. And look, look what appeared on my television. I can't even change the channel. Like, look it, it's, it's just there, it's just, it's just the bitch in the mirror. And this isn't even the first time this has happened. This is literally the third time since I've been sitting here tonight. Okay, so new update. It's playing on my phone now. I'm fucked. I am so fucked. Okay, so we are approaching the exact hour that it will be exactly seven days since I originally watched the death tape. Nothing too crazy has happened. I think maybe, maybe I'm in the clear. Maybe nothing is... Okay, so either we're getting the death video extended edition or something different is happening. She's never, I've seen this video a million times, she's never crawled out of the well. Oh shit. What do you want? Before you die, you see the ring. The one ring. The Lord of the Rings trivia. You just wanted somebody to play Lord of the Rings trivia with? <sighs> Girl, you didn't have to spend seven days torturing me. You could have just asked. I'm always down for some LOTR trivia. Oh, that's an easy one. Frodo, Sam, Legolas, Gimli, Merry, Pippin, Boromir, Aragorn. There were eight members of the Fellowship still left once they got to Lothlorien. And that's the last question. So, guess what, well girl? I'm the winner. Crawled all this way just to get stomped by a true LOTR Coolio. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you like this video. Like I said, these are no joke. Uh... And what I mean by that, no, you, like, this is plain creepy, it, it's nothing to laugh about, seriously, um, so, oh boy, I have I didn't realize it's been nearly 25 minutes, um, uh, I've gotta stop this before I run out of storage, y'all have a good one, and, um, I'll be doing more videos in the future.